Let's fly a steep turn. You have full control. Hold the device level in front of you. You have control now. Full throttle. Increase power. Smoothly bank to 45 degrees to the right. Do not climb or descend while rolling in. Beware of too much bank, as this will lead to a drop in altitude. Keep an eye on the compass. The target heading is 300 degrees. Quickly roll out to straight flight with a heading of 300 degrees. Keep it straight for a while. Keep wings horizontal. Well done. I'm taking control. Try a little harder for three stars. Let's climb and descend. More power is needed for climbing. Power can be reduced while descending. You have throttle control now. I'm starting to climb. Set throttle to full power to climb. I descend now. Reduce power to idle to maintain airspeed. You did an excellent job. I'll take control now. This is as good as it gets. I am impressed. Let's practice climbing. Use full power and adjust the pitch angle to maintain a speed of 75 knots. Hold the device level in front of you. You have pitch and throttle control now. Pull smoothly now to start climbing. The recommended pitch is indicated by the green marker. Set throttle to full power. Full throttle. Climb to 3,000 feet. Airspeed should be approximately 75 knots. If you climb too steep, you will slow down and you might get into a stall. Great job. Very nice. I'm taking control now. This is as good as it gets. I am impressed. Let's practice to descent. Reduce power and use the elevator to control airspeed. Hold the device level in front of you. You have pitch and throttle control now. Reduce power to idle to begin the descent. Just wait for the aircraft to start descending. Keep descending to 2,000 feet and try to maintain an airspeed of 90 knots. Use minimal elevator corrections to maintain a constant rate of descent.
Well done. I'm taking control. Improve a little for full score. Let's practice taking off. I will control direction so that you can focus on liftoff and climbing. I'm setting the flaps to 10 degrees. Hold the device level in front of you. You have pitch and throttle control now. Move throttle to full power to accelerate. When we reach 64 knots, use the elevator to lift off. Lift off now. Great, we are airborne. Recommended climb speed is 75 knots. Try to stay close to that. Climb steadily. Airspeed will depend on how steep the climb is. Keep climbing to 1,500 feet. You did a good job. I'm taking over. Improve a little for full score. Let's do a takeoff again. This time you have complete control. Take care of the heading as well. Hold the device level in front of you. You have control now. Set the flaps to 10 degrees. Please set flaps correctly. Please set flaps correctly. Move the throttle to full power to accelerate. Use small corrections to stay in the middle of the runway. At about 64 knots, use the elevator to lift off. Lift off now. Great, we're airborne. Maintain the climb speed of 75 knots. Correct heading. Climb steeper. Remember to check the heading using the compass. Climb less steep. Keep climbing until we reach 1,500 feet. Very nice. I'll take over now. Try a little harder for three stars. Landing certainly is the most difficult part of flying. Don't worry, I will assist you. Your first task is just control speed. I'll take care of the rest. You have throttle control now. Reduce throttle to idle. I will then start to descend. Your task is to maintain an airspeed of 70 knots using the throttle.
The recommended approach airspeed is 70 knots. You should never drop below that value. Reduce power for touchdown. Use the wheel brake to slow down. Great job. Very nice. I'm taking control now. This is as good as it gets. I am impressed. Let's do another landing practice. This time, you only control the elevator. I'll take care of direction, speed, and flaps. Hold the device level in front of you. You have pitch control now. I set the flaps and reduce throttle. The nose will go down a little. Aim for the threshold of the runway by making small elevator corrections. The arrows indicate the runway threshold. Fly the aircraft smoothly down to the threshold. Descend steeper. Pull slightly to reduce the rate of descent. I will reduce power to idle. Keep pulling for a smooth touchdown. I will brake to slow down. You did an excellent job. I'll take control now. Now that was a perfect flight. Let's do one more landing practice. You now control elevator and throttle. I'll take care of the direction and the flaps. Hold the device level in front of you. You have pitch and throttle control now. Reduce the power now. I am setting the flaps. Aim for the threshold of the runway. Maintain an approach speed of 70 knots. Once set, the flaps are not touched again during landing. Retracting them will lead to a sudden drop. Descend steeper. Pull slightly to flare and reduce power to idle. Touch down smoothly.
Use the wheel brake to slow down. Keep power at idle. Very good. I am proud of you. I'll take over now. You have a great talent. You really surprise me. You should now be well prepared for your first landing. Hold the device level in front of you. You have control now. Reduce throttle and set the flaps. Reduce power. Aim for the runway threshold. Head further left. Use throttle to adjust airspeed and aim for the runway threshold. Descend steeper. Pull smoothly to flare. Reduce power to idle. Touch down smoothly. Slow down and stay on the center line. You did a good job. I'm taking over. Improve a little for full score. <laughs>